Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a red coder, which is sticking with the theme of my last two videos, which have to do with comparators particularly. Two weeks ago, obviously, being my comparator video, and last week being my item frame combination lock, which obviously relies on the comparator, and a sort of red coder system, which is what I'm going over today. Now, if you don't know what a red coder is, I'm not sure why you're on this video, but I will quickly demonstrate just in case. And so, as you can see, if I flick this lever, as you can see, that redstone torch right here gives an output, and keep in mind it is one from the end right there. And now, if I move one further along, as you can see, the next one gives an output with two from the end. And this works. Obviously, I didn't make levers for all of them, but if I skip ahead, now we're all the way down here. And this works all the way up to the max signal strength, which is 15, just like that. But like I said, I only have five levers here. Later on, I will also go over why this doesn't work in 1.16, which I am currently in. As you can see, if I flick it, nothing works. But this does work in any version earlier than 1.16, or like I said, Bedrock Edition. So, we will start with the 1.16 version, and this also does work in previous versions. It just uses exactly one more redstone dust than that version, so obviously you should probably prefer to use that version, but if it doesn't matter, you can also use this one. Um, and as you can see right here, it has your input into the comparator. You can obviously have like an item frame, a chest, something like that. And then it goes into one redstone dust, then off to the left, and that is where the line goes down, with your repeaters coming out right that, like that into a block with a redstone torch on top. Now for what's going on underneath, what we have is right under this block that the comparator is going uh, into, we also have a separate line of redstone going down here with, again, repeaters. And these repeaters are all going into a block with another redstone torch under the block that this redstone torch is on. Now just in case that was confusing, here is what one singular module looks like. You have the redstone dust with the repeater coming out into a block with the redstone torch on the front. Then we have the block on top, and then another redstone torch there, with a repeater right here, another block here, and this is where the redstone dust goes, just like that. Another thing to note is this very final module, no matter how long you have it, like, if you have an item frame, you only need to make it eight, obviously, as there's only eight rotations, but if you make it this long, you don't need to put anything at the very end, because obviously the comparator cannot output a seven, uh, 16 signal strength, excuse me, and so we don't need to worry about it going over, which happens to do with how this actually works, which I will go on to next. So from my comparator video, as you should know, the comparator outputs the signal that it is inputted, and so say it uh, outputs a signal strength of 5, down here it will go 5, and up here it loses 1 because of this redstone here, and so it actually will only go 4 down this line. Now this top line, what it does is it depowers these redstone torches because it activates the redstone torch, and obviously they are uh, inverters, so they invert it. And since it's one shorter, this fifth one is being powered down at the bottom, but it isn't being dispowered at the top, so it will allow the signal through. And again, just to sh specifically show you how it's working, if I flick that lever, as you can see down here, all these repeaters on the top are being powered except for this one, and all of them, including the one that's being powered, is being powered, and so it's allowing it through. Now on to the version for any version before 1.16, or Bedrock. And like I said earlier, I can't actually show that it works, but you're going to have to trust me that it does. And the reason it doesn't work is because in 1.16, they added a new feature where, as you can see, the hitbox of this redstone is actually pointing into this block. And so this redstone dust is actually powering this block and thus powering this repeater, which over in this design, that isn't being allowed. But since this is powering this block and powering this repeater, the one that should not be powered all the way at the end is being powered by this redstone, because as you can see, this redstone is not powered, but this one is, and so this repeater is being powered. Now the difference in this build and this build is instead of going into a solid block right here like this and then going over, it utilizes one less redstone as it just goes up uh, this line down here and then just goes straight up to the side right here instead of having to run two separate lines and the one extra redstone dust being this one right here. 
So if you are building these individual modules, they are going to look the exact same as that one over there. Again, the two repeaters like that, the two redstone dust, and the two red, uh, redstone torches right there. Anyway guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe down below. I make videos just like this one every single Friday, and I'll see you in the next one.